Welcome to Luxuriously Poor, and thank you for stopping by. And may each and every one of you truly be blessed by God. And please give this video a thumbs up and comment. Now today, I want to talk about how so many people are not heeding the warning signs until it's too late. And then they end up just like this in a ditch because they don't believe that continuing the same way is going to happen to them like this. In other words, they think, oh, it'll work out in the end until they're living in something like this. That's right. We have a lot of people in our town that have retired who have sold everything because they can't pay their mortgage anymore. It's just one problem after another. They don't have money. They can't get by. And before they end up losing everything they own, they sell it and move into something like this out of the city limits. Now, I noticed this. Now, me and my son love to go riding out of the city limits and looking around, and we're seeing a lot of this going on. And we've talked to a few people that are actually living in things like this. And they can't pay their taxes on their homes. They're retired people who no longer can pay their taxes because they have become so high and they're losing everything. And this is what I keep talking to you guys about. Now, remember the 78 cents chilies? You guys have seen me make these things so many times. I had to change what I'm doing. I don't want to lose everything I've got because, see, I have taxes too, and they've gone way up on properties, on your homes and everything. And so, remember, I paid $4 for these. I got them for $0.78 cents a pound. $2 for the cheese. That's $6. $0.30 for the sopa and the eggs were free because I used my son's eggs from his chickens. And I will eat this the entire week. Now, that's $6 to feed two people for an entire week. That was my grocery bill. $6. Okay? Now... I have rice and beans, and I've told you guys that, that I, I have that sort of thing all the time. I have flour. I have some staples to go with things. But you ha your, your electric, your food bill, all this, and it's going to hit. It's going to sucker punch people, and they just are not going to know what hit them. All I can do is pray. Pray that people wake up before it's too late.